A St. Paul barber shop reopened today in violation of the stay at home order. The governor recently extended stay at home orders until May 18th. More exceptions are being made for businesses to reopen, but not for haircuts. Two hours after the business opened, the police forced it to close again. Our Christian Cordero explains what the owner tried to accomplish. In the shadows of the state capitol, King Milan Barbershop had, for the first time in seven weeks, its lights on. This is my livelihood. I mean, and I've been sitting here coming up with uh, strategies and plans on how to open up and do it correctly. His customers outside had at least two things in common. Yeah, we're all desperate to get our hair cut. It's a mess. Uh, <laughs> I felt confident that we were headed in the right direction. But after a while, it seemed to be drifting more toward uh, an unreasonable restriction of business. For two hours, owner Milan Denny enforced social distancing and sanitizing as a way to prove he's serious for the 16 clients he served. The 17th person to walk in was St. Paul Police. He just stepped outside and he talked to me and let me know. He said he feel, you know, what I'm going through, but the order is in place right now. Technically, the state can shut Denny down and fine him up to $25,000. He's aware that he could lose his shop by this decision to reopen. He's also convinced that he'd lose it if he stayed closed. When the doors did close, donations arrived along with support. Some from fellow barbers stressed from not providing. Everybody keeps saying, file this and file that. You file everything you want to until your hands hurt. You keep typing until your hands are aching. But you're not going to get it because it's not coming. And worried the help that does arrive will be a bigger burden down the road. The only way that I can have my business survive is to by further going into debt. In St. Paul, Christiane Cordero, WCCO, 4 News. The state has a call scheduled with industry leaders tomorrow, and Denny will be part of that conversation.